In an operation that lasted for weeks, operative of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency have arrested a transborder drug cartel and five leaders of the syndicate operating in parts of the world. This was disclosed in a press statement released on Sunday, January 29, 2023, by the HSC spokesperson Femi Babafemi. Babafemi said different quantities of skunk, methamphetamine, ephraim, and air compressors used to conceal and distribute them globally were recovered during the operation. Other items recovered include a Lexus SUV and Toyota Jeep. This operation comes after the warning by the Chairman and Chief Executive Officer of the Agency, Brigadier General Mohamed Bouba Mawa, said that drug barons and cartel will have its rough in 2023 if they fail to back out of criminal business. The agency's spokesperson said the leaders of the cartel will spread across Dubai, UAE, Kotonou, Benin Republic, Togo, Oman, Thailand and Europe, as well as Lagos, Imo and Onisha in Anambra State, were still making plans on Christmas and New Year holidays in their villages on how to send their illicit consignment to Dubai and other parts of the country. Their lead was blown open on Thursday, December 29, 2022, when NDLA officer arrested their cargo agent, Onyesu Collins Jukudi, at the Sako Export Sheet of Muitala Mohammed International Airport in Ikeja, Lagos, for attempting to export three big automobile hair compressors to Dubai. A quick follow-up operation led to the recovery of an additional five compressors weighing 27.50 kg of skunk at his home at 24 Legacy Road in Oyobo area of Lagos. Further investigations revealed that the freight agent was working for a bigger organized criminal group. As a result, extensive operational tools were deployed, leading to the arrest of other kingpins. In a well-coordinated operation by the agency, Honor Peter Obioma, Ugo Kelechi Alex, Uweke Ugochuku, and Eze Wenkwe Obina Nicodemus were arrested at their respective location. In response to the operation that resulted in dismantling the transnational cartel, General Mawa praised all men and officers involved in the effort to rid Nigeria of substance abuse and illicit drug trafficking. He therefore charged them and their compatriots across the country to remain steadfast and focused on the corporate goal of the agency.